all right so making the jamaican porridge is pretty easy um you get your water so that you gauge your fire though because it's not something that demands very high heat um gauge your fire so that's the water in i'm adding the coconut milk and the coconut was blended with some pumpkin seeds all right so in this blender now is a mixture of um, planting and this is the bullfrog what we call the bullfrog bananas you can use regular bananas i blended some peanuts in it a little chocho cocoa and of course some pumpkins for my eyes are blended in it when you're making the product you don't have to use all this variety that you see me adding you see it comes out very thick to start coming from the blender and then it goes into the pot and when it starts cooking it's going to get it's going to thicken you, the, you choose what you want to put into the pot sometimes the availability um, is going to make help to make the decision and other times it's going to be the health that's going to make the decision so say you have issues with healing a wound or you have issues with um, eyes or erection you know you choose your plantings for your erection you choose the, the pumpkins for your eyes and you just keep choosing what you add to it remember though that um the the proteinaceous part the the, the peanut, peanut or almond sunflower seeds all of those can be added to the porridge to enrich the porridge you know or you some people say cereal depending on where in the world you are but adding all of those things to the porridge adding the peanut to the porridge you have to be knowledgeable if you're having kidney issues you want to go a little lighter on the um peanut and you allow you you can put a little salt in it if you are diabetic of course just be mindful and then we are always a little bit um careful if persons are having sleeping issues or neurological issues we tend to say to them um spices go light on the spices so if you realize i didn't put any cinnamon in the water as we normally would um nutmeg you know you, that can go in a little after but of course remember if you are having neurological issues or sleeping issues you want to go a little light on uh, some of those things and um you you want to ensure that while you are making a meal with the porridge the porridge by itself is not necessarily so it hasn't started boiling yet it hasn't started cooking yet so you have to give it sufficient time to cook so the porridge by itself as i was saying earlier is not a meal a complete meal even though you put the nuts in it and you put the planting the coke or the church or all of that in it um it is an accompaniment to your meal so it accompanies your fruits for breakfast your teas which should always be a part of your breakfast and of course you might want to add a, a few um you know jamaicans we like our fry fry so we fry a, a dumpling or we fry a piece of planting and add that to the breakfast so it has it is it is just getting bubbly if you notice the porridge is just getting right so, so this is our fry fry we fry plantains um ripe plantains green plantains there are a few of the bullfrog bananas there so we like our fry fry um you can steam a little callaloo and put with your fry fry you can steam a little cabbage and put so we're talking about a complete a balanced meal but the aim of this video really is to show how to make your jamaican cereal your jamaican porridge um, and it's very very important for you to learn it because in much of our healing programs that we offer um it is a part of the diet um porridge and soup have always been considered as foods for invalids and foods for young children and so you can imagine how nutritious it had to be and it is something that is it's a liquid it's easily digestible 
um it's light on the stomach very smooth very milky very alkaline and uh, it will uh, it, it it will go into the bloodstream in a very very quick time so you, and and when you're not well that's what you want you want something that is mushy um that is going to go through the colon easily so it's not going to become a burden on the body so like drinking the porridge you know in very short so you can realize it's thickening a little bit it, it has just started getting bubbly you can see the orange of the pumpkin in it and um, you can see pieces of the pumpkin in it I, i'm not seeing much of it now but there was a time when i saw a piece some of that is peanut and um plantains i guess and coconut milk um, you've got to give the coconut milk sufficient time to boil because eh? you know coconut milk sometimes can be active on some people's stomach and might be the reason sometimes why you might need to add a little bit of salt to balance um the coconut milk into the into the porridge but give it time it's going to get much thicker and that's what porridge is all about getting extremely thick um your variety might be you know up to you we do encourage during our programs though while you can add oatmeal don't use any cornmeal um you can add um so so we, we are down to using plantains bullfrog bananas regular bananas chocho cocoa um peanuts nuts all types of nuts and again it depends so um if you are on our program it's important to touch base with us um am i allowed if you're on the herpes treatment or um fibroids treatment they're all different allowances so it's always important to ask us am i allowed to have am i allowed to have it's important to, to touch base with us to ask us so this is the, the porridge coming together thickening hasn't really started boiling as we would want it and when we talk about boiling where it's, it's giving it enough time the plantains the chocho the pumpkin enough time to cook um really 10 to 15 minutes should do it um should cook it if you give it 10 to 15 minutes because remember it's all blended there's no not, no bulky stuff in it but you still have to give it sufficient time to cook a little stirring prevents the peanut from sticking to the bottom of the the pot so if you realize that i'm every occasionally i'm stirring it i'm stirring to prevent the nuts the bulky stuff that are in it from sticking to the bottom of the pot and it's coming on it's coming on real nice and if you can see some of the pumpkin um pieces in 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 it but much of it has cooked out and it's going to become one constituency because that's what porridge really is one nice mild constituency you know jamaicans and them creativity was but it's healing i can tell you that it has helped me more than once to recover from different different ailments and um many persons will tell you it's just miraculous what is it that could be in food that could make it so miraculous just imagine the most high went through a process you know sometimes we say we're doing something from scratch and it came to me last night that we really are not doing it from scratch because the most High is the one who is doing it from scratch so he takes nothing he takes the dirt and a little seed and then he allows them to grow into plantings grow into chocho grow into peanuts that's the from scratch we are at the middle stage where we are we have a product of a, 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 a planting a banana a, a, a chocho and so we are in the middle stage and so gauging again is important gauging the fire because so, it's spitting so now you have to gauge it a little bit to ensure that you don't hurt yourself the spitting doesn't burn you up so you just turn down the fire a little bit and give it an opportunity to still simmer down you know it's a simmer down 
You know, the, the, the fire might be hot, the bottle might be hot, but give it some time to simmer down, no man, and cook and nice up, nice up. Mm hmm. Yes, man. Simmer down to a nice like a Jamaican porridge. Yes, man. You've got to give it sufficient time to cook. And it's almost there. Almost there. I can tell you that if you have a healthy stomach, you could have turned it off. You can turn it off at this stage. But if you don't, I still say give it, just watch it from here, so, at the pot side. Um, and then you make it go down about an inch. Yeah, you just allow it to boil down about an inch. And then you're, 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 you know, you're, you're more guaranteed then that it has actually cooked. Everything in it is actually cooked and ready for your belly. All right, your Jamaican. So you see it has thickened, Ooh, much thicker than when we started. And that's what you watch for when you're making porridge. Again, you check the bottom of the pot to make sure nothing is sticking, it's not burning at the bottom. One or two grains might be sticking. Um, you might not be able to avoid that. You just turn the fire down a little bit still so that you don't get it burning. And give it time. It's not, remember we said, it's a piece of the pumpkin. Look at the pumpkin. Look at the pumpkin on the spoon. You see? Hey, that's the pumpkin in the soup, in the porridge. <laughs> yeah, some people might say, oh, oh, one gentleman called me. He says, man, all these things are nasty. <laughs> and I say, I understand what you said, my brother. You're just not accustomed to it. But um, if you lived among masters in Jamaica, or just pretend and tell yourself that you're at my house, this is what you'll be getting to eat every day. All these healthy, eh? healthy, really, really healthy meals. All right, so I'm about to we're boiling it down to about an inch. It's, it's, you can realize from, from the, 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 the markings at the side of the pot, that it has gone down to about um, three quarters of, an, of, of, of it, of the inch. So we have a little bit more boiling to go. Just a little bit more. And you can see the porridge are thick now. You see it? How thick, thick from bottom to top. So it's not just me just skimming the top to show you. So boy, it's a thick. It's the top thick. The middle of it is thick as well. And all the way down to the bottom where most of the peanuts um, is, is also extremely thick. So it's one constituency that you're working with. And just remember that if it is, because remember that we're teaching you to make porridge. If it is thin, it means that you don't have enough, what we call body. Um, so therefore you might need to add another planting. You might need to add another um, chocho, you might need to add a little oatmeal to it um, if it is thin. Also for flavor, um, you notice I didn't add a lot of planting for flavor. I didn't add a lot of planting to it for flavor because, uh, I'm sorry, pumpkin. I didn't add a lot of pumpkin because some things can give it a very awkward taste. Um, and so we don't use a lot of every little thing in so the main thing that we use a lot of is the plantains and the bullfrog bananas because we like the flavor of those the others now that are nutritive when we're just adding for the nutrient sake we went a little light on those all right so we're at the end um remember that we can add Depending on your health, you can add your, I'm looking for one that really looks like nutmeg. All right, so depending on your health, you can add nutmeg. You just have a little shredding grate and you just shred for flavor of the stomach. Um, sometimes it will help you with a little diarrhea or bowel movement. That I think that's, those are some of the benefits where the most I gave them to us. Um, so it can help with a few. And then remember we, we speak often about the aromatherapeutic properties of the cinnamon and the nutmeg. And I said, if you want to tie the man, you just make your porridge with nutmeg and cinnamon every morning. He will remember it will go all the way back into his DNA to great grandparents, great, 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 great grand. 
and then automatically his brain is going to fall in love with you and say, but you know, you are my granny. And you are my great, great granny spirit. And me, you are my great, great. And you are my great, great granny. So you add, sometimes you add these, but just, just don't be too... Um, and if the person is having um, a nervous stomach, ulcerated stomach, um, go light or avoid the spices until the stomach has picked up a little bit because it is excitatory to the stomach. So it excites the stomach too much where it is absolutely not necessary. So we're done with the porridge. Final look at the constituency of the porridge. This is it. And we give you thanks for joining us. Hope you'll be around while we're cooking the next part. Do enjoy.